Sure. <laughs> All right, yeah, hey, we're live. Well, no, we're not live, we're recording. So this is my friend Pam. She joined me today on Zoom, and so I just kind of suckered her into coming here and making a video for all of you guys um, regarding limited time offerings. Specifically, what I'm talking about today is the Star Wars collection that comes out, um, oh, my calendar's wrong, on the 4th. So this will apply to any limited time offering, but like I said, um, since we have the Star Wars collection coming out, I figured we would make it about that. Okay, so if you're in my group, you know that I generally say it's a bad idea to take pre-orders. And I believe it's a bad idea for several reasons. For one, it's a limited time offering. That could literally mean minutes it's available to maybe a day, sometimes a week, but you don't know. And if we have a limited time offering come out that's only available, say, for 30 minutes, and we've seen it happen time and time again, and you are unable to fulfill that pre-order because you were at work, you couldn't get on the website, um, you just didn't see it come out in time, whatever the reason is, you don't want to disappoint customers. So my advice is always to set up a party link on your workstation, which is visible on your PWS, which stands for personal website. Today I'm going to show you how to do that for anybody who maybe isn't aware of how to do that. Um, like I said, I don't take um, many pre-orders. I, oh, I take one because I have one customer who will buy everything Star Wars. I have her card info. I know it doesn't matter what the cost is. She wants it. If it's only one pre-order, then I guess that's fine. Um, but if we think back to Jack Skellington, where um, everybody was taking pre-orders and it sold out rather quickly, and then we had to wait months to get them. We don't want to repeat that. So um, what I'll do for my one customer that I take my pre-order for is I still place it on my website. So let's jump into our workstation really quick here. Um, oh, hang on. Let me do a screen share. Okay. Hold on one second. Don't mind. Pam, can you see my screen? Yep. All right. So we're going to go over into sign into your workstation. Workstation is another term for your back office. This is for consultants only. Your customers will never come in here. They'll never see it. Just in case um, you get the workstation and the PWS mixed up. Workstation, back office. So um, I've already created a party, but let's say I didn't. I'm going to hit create party. Um, let's call it Star Wars. Or what did you, Cyber Monday if you wanted to. Or Black Friday, Pam had one called that. Um, you can call it whatever you want, really. It doesn't matter. Hit continue. We'll do myself because it's easy. I'm shipping it all to myself because again, everything that people order is going to be on my website. So it's going to ship them regardless of what this says here. This really means if you're doing a party through your workstation or when you close out your host re rewards, this is where they're going to go, this address. Okay, save and continue. I'm just going to skip through all of this to make it quick. However, if you've not spent time in here, you can really customize your party. Um, in fact, right here, I like to upload an image of my hostess. I steal it from Facebook and I upload it there. So it makes, yeah, so it makes it really personal. If say you're doing something like this is a Star Wars only one, you could put the image of the Star Wars that we have now. If there's a video that Cincy's put out, you can embed the video link in here as well and it'll show up on your website because you've customized the party page. Um, I forgot to upload an image, I know. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that. My end date, I always push this sucker out for months because you can honestly keep an online party open for a long, long time. And more times people will go to that link because you can change the name of it, um, the more rewards you're going to calculate. And I'll show you that in a second because I have one set up already that I've done that with. So we would just hit continue at this point. Well done. This is your URL. So we want to copy that link. Then if you have a VIP page, you go to your VIP page, you let people know what's coming out, when it's coming out, any details you have, and you share this link. Now here's a Facebook tip. Even in your private group pages, if you put the link in your, um, your post, your original post, the algorithm in Facebook doesn't like that. So it doesn't tend to show as many people. I'm so sorry about Facebook. Let me just shut her down. There. <laughs> so when you're sharing a link in Facebook, in your description, in your original post, end it with link is in the comments. 
once you put the link in the comments, Facebook doesn't kind of flag it and say, oh, this is very spammy or salesy. Um, and that's why you'll see most people put link in comments because if you put it in the original post, not as many people will see it. It's just one of Facebook's many rules. I don't know what you want to call it. Just irritates me, but that's a way to get around it. Okay. So then um, we're going to copy this. We're going to go here and I'm just going to paste it. This link will take these people directly to the party in which I want them to shop for or from. Take it a step further. Let's say um, I'm just going to pick, I'm going to go down to specials. I'm going to do a six pack of wax. Let's say a customer is having a hard time finding something specifically. If you go to that specific, excuse me, sorry about that. If you go to that specific um, item, and I'm just going to throw these in here, you can now copy and paste that URL to them, and it will take them to that item specifically. Okay, so if Star Wars was already out, you could click on the Star Wars item, and I'll show you again. We'll click on, let's just pretend this is Darth Vader's fat head. Click on it, copy this, paste it. Boom. Now they're in the party, they're on your PWS, and they're on the actual product, which helps make it a lot easier for them. Then all they have to do is add it to their cart and check out. This ensures that A, you're getting the credit for it, B, they're in the right party. So, because if they order online and don't attach it to a party, nobody gets host rewards for that. Ultimate, you also can, when you go to, I'll go to the checkout really quick. Let's just say that they um, didn't click on the right thing. You can also tell them to check up here at the checkout and they can modify the party. And any party that's sitting on your PWS, they can choose from, okay? So that's how you put it on your workstation, show it on your PWS. I keep looking over here, Pam, because this is where you're at. And I should be looking up here because this is where the camera's at. So <laughs> if I'm not looking at you, it's because I'm looking at Pam like I'm talking to her. Okay. Just so, buy what things. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you um, to my workstation. I am actually going to show you a order that I have open and I keep it open until I feel ready to close it out. This is the link that I share all of the time when my customers hey, I need to order X, Y, and Z. I send them this specific URL. And I do that because if they're not hosting a party, I want to make sure that I get host credits for that. So I'm going to go down to my party, which is where? Did I go buy it? Jody's online shop right here. Okay, so I'm just going to hit edit. And this is only to show you that you can let these sit here and accumulate, accumulate, the rewards and the PRV. So PRV is paid out when the order is placed. Like if these were all placed in November, that's when my PRV is calculated, but the host rewards will sit there until I'm ready to close them out as long as that party is current. Don't let it sit here for a year because it will be deleted and you'll lose out on those host credits, okay? But you can see that I've had $920 in online orders. This was from November. Not everybody orders through party, which is unfortunate, but whatever. So currently I have 116 in host credit three half price items right here, but don't forget to go to your party summary and um, use your perpetual host reward. It is always, always there as long as your party meets the minimum requirement. If you do not owe this to a guest who's booking from the party, then you should be using this. If you don't have it in your budget to really buy anything for half off, buy light bulbs, buy a scent circle, don't waste it, do something with it. And here's another trick. I buy a ton of scent circles for free and half off because everybody who orders online will get a scent circle at least in the mail with a handwritten card and my label on it. For the customers who order a lot or frequently, um, I just stuck a bar and a cotton cleanup into you know, a, a package that's going out. There are times where I have customers who will order, you know, within a couple months time frame, they order several hundred dollars, which technically would be a party, but they didn't do it at once. So I like to go on and I send them a little care package right from my PWS, just like we just showed you there. And it ships directly to them. I've included it in a party order. So I'm going to get credit on it. I'm going to get paid on it and they get a nice gift. Everybody's a winner. So that is what I wanted to show you guys. Let me do a stop share.
Welcome back, Pam. Now you're in front of me instead of over here in the corner. Hi. How long do you keep the parties open for, Jody? Uh, it just depends. I will push out um, my personal party link. I'll push out, like, right now I think they're into end of February. A regular host, generally uh, one to two weeks. Oh, yeah. But I also have, um, I call them permanent hosts. People who constantly host. Like, I had a girl close yesterday. She, um, she had, like, a almost a $600 party, I think it was. And that package that you just saw me bundle, that's for her to do another party. I've already created her another party link. So, and it's always called the same thing. So basically her name is Gail. So when she says to her friends, um, Hey, if you need Sensi or her customers who she knows are always going to order, she can just say, Hey, go to jodyfarmer.com slash Gail Maggio. And her party link is always the same on their end. I on my end. Okay. So what I do with that is I just, I'll push that out like three months, the, the party end date. She can close whenever she wants. She can close well before that, but it's at least going to be there for three months. So anytime a coworker says, Hey Gail, I need wax. She can say, go to Jody Farmer slash Gail Maggio. And she just starts, it's like a Cincy savings account and they just keep racking up the benefits. Love it. Love it. So smart. That's why you saw so many open parties. They're not technically like all happening right at this moment, but they're okay. constantly the, like, I have another the woman that lived right down the road from me. She orders all the time. I'm like, can I, I'm just going to put up a party link for you. Just use that when you order so that you can at least redeem stuff on your own purchases. So if you have a customer who's constantly ordering, just set them up a party link. Easy peasy. I'm, I'm gearing everybody towards ordering online now. I'm like, here, go online. <laughs> And because now that shipping is different, yeah, you have to have a $500 party, it, it's just easier. And I'm not local to anybody anymore. So yeah. almost everything I do is online. Mm -hmm. So I just set up links for everybody. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. And if you give them customer service, they'll pay that shipping fee with no problems. Cause. And all of my permanent or serial hostesses, I, I feel we have a pretty good relationship. Like we text, we joke, you know, and these are people, they weren't my friends. They were people I've met through events or through other parties or whatever. But I, again, it comes down to that customer service and customer service is, is about a relationship and fun and asking, Hey, how's, how was your Thanksgiving? Did you snowed in? How was your dog? How's your kid? Whatever it is, you know? Um, and so this girl who just closed this party yesterday texted me, can you, can you set me up another link? And me, as soon as I closed out her party, I was on it and set up another link for her. Now, again, her friends, it's always the same, you know, Jody Farmer slash Gail Maggio. On my end, the link is different, but they don't, they don't matter to them. So you can constantly do that and send people to their link. So hey, get out of there. Kitty, kitty. All right, guys. Well, I think, is there anything else I should add, Pam, that you can think of that maybe would be a question for somebody with limited time offering pre-orders? Um, I learned with Jack, it's not worth the stress. Send them to your website. Send them to your website. And it, it, it to helps website. guarantee like that they, it's easier for a, a customer to go on and order one warmer than a consultant go on and order 10. Mm -hmm. So everybody just goes to your, your link that you've set up and you know, it's just easier and, and happier. Now, again, if you have a, an older customer who doesn't do a lot online, like my mom would never be able to do that then you can help them out um, and incorporate your kids and your spouse if you need to, but it's just safer, uh, less frustrating, safer, <laughs> again, safer for your mental stability to just send everybody to the link that you've created ahead of time. And you can text people. Like if you're right. using Amy, that URL I showed you copy it earlier, just send that to your customer saying, Hey, if you're a Star Wars fan or if you know somebody who's a Star Wars fan or Frozen or whatever the case is, I've set up a dedicated shopping link for you. Feel free to share it. It comes out Friday and give them as many details as you can. Let them know that it's very limited. If they want it, they need to get on now. If you prepare your customers and educate them properly, you're going to have, you're going to see a lot less frustrated consultants in your downline and customers. Because if you're prepared and you know this is going to sell out, you really don't have any room for complaining because you knew it was a high priced and high ticket and high demand item that's going to sell it quickly. It is what it is. It's a good problem, right? If we had warmers coming out left and right like this and they weren't selling, I'd be worried. 
I'd be worried that's a lot of money to, to put into product development for it to sit on a shelf. I want it to sell out quickly. Maybe 24 hours would be nice, but people who love Star Wars love Star Wars and it doesn't matter. Well, and they'll pay for it. I mean, everybody was like, Jack Wormers were 65 bucks. I'm not paying that. A true Jack fan will pay for it. And a true Star Wars Wormer will pay for it also. I told you, the customer I texted the image to, she's like, she didn't ask how much it was because I, yeah. I didn't have any details to give her at that time anyway. She wanted it all, the whole thing. I said, oh, I don't I had no idea if it was going to be $200, $300. I didn't know. She didn't they care. don't care. They don't care. Don't judge it. Be like, oh, it's expensive. My customers won't pay that. You can't, you can't, can't judge it. Because I, I can tell you just in my circle of friends, like, for example, we'll take for Heather. She loves to eat out. Loves it. She doesn't mind dropping a large chunk of money on a really good meal. I do. I want to spend that somewhere else. Doesn't mean we both don't have the money to spend. It's just what we want to spend it on is different. So don't prejudge. Like you said, don't prejudge your customers. Like if they're Star Wars fans or fanatics or Frozen or whatever, they're going to pay what they're, whatever. It's mm -hmm. not up to us to decide what their budget is. That's up to them. So don't take away the right for them to say yes or no for that matter by not even offering it. So, I mean, look at the snow globe. What was it? it was $125 and it sold out in like a couple hours. 30 minutes. First, snow. First snow. So. so many things have been happening so quickly, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Since he's not going anywhere, guys, so now's the time to jump on. Yeah. And you can't, while we're on that little topic, let's take it a little bit further. Um, you can't just rely on your friends and your family to sustain, grow, or run a business. You can't. And so you have to get out and meet new people. It's great when you first start to start with your friends and family when you have a launch party. But if you're relying on them to sustain your 200 every four months, they're going to get pretty sick of your text messages and your posts. You have to meet new people. And you meet new people countless ways. Events, fundraisers, grocery shopping, going to, out to dinner. I leave. I handed... Excuse me, I handed our waitress last night at Red Robin um, a little sample pack that I made up and said, hey, contact me. I'd love to send you a, a little free something. Scent circles, again, are a great way to leave with people that you meet. I just wanted to leave you with this little gift. It was so nice to meet you today. Um, here's my website. It's open 24 hours a day. Here's my cell phone. Contact me anytime. I'd, lo I'd love to be your sensey girl. Meeting people is key to growing a business. Walmart could not sustain if they only sold to the Walmart people family. I can't remember his last name, but you know what I'm saying? They have to open their doors. They have to be willing to bring in uh, new people and we're no different. Just because we don't have a physical door on our brick and mortar store does not mean we shouldn't open our business every single day and, and welcome meeting new people. I stress this to my team, old school thank you goes a long way. I handwrite thank yous. Be like, hey, Jody, it was great to meet you at this fire department this past weekend. Hope you're enjoying your scentsy goodies. And let me tell you, I had people this weekend like, oh my God, I like, shop with you here. It was an hour away because of Dennis, my husband, posted on our Facebook page, we're going to be there. They follow me because I cut down my events to very minimal now because I have a good customer base going and they're referring me. Right. I send a, I send a, a handwritten thank you note to everybody. I have little. It was a pleasure to meet you, and on the bottom it has a sample club email, host a party, and join. And I ask people, "Do you have a Scentsy lady?" "Nope." Here, do you want to be on my mailing list? And you know what? I send out samples every month. That's what I say. I always ask if they have a Sensi consultant. If always. the answer is yes, I'm not going to, I'm not in the business of trying to steal from another consultant. That's bad karma. That's bad juju, y'all. But if they don't, then I say, I would love to help you. And um, I'd love to put you in my sample of the month club, send them the email, get their physical address because I can send them samples and a handwritten thank you to everyone whose address I have gets a handwritten thank you. It goes a long way. It really does. So. Can I ask Oh, I have a sense of, oh, who is it? Oh, it's Jody Farmer. Oh my God. I know Jody. Like, and like, I always ask who it is too, because it's so much fun when you know who it is. Exactly. Like one of my, my boss was in Kentucky and she saw my boot camp sister. She goes, look, I found a Scentsy person. Cause she had the back of her car decal. I'm like, I know her. She goes, of course you would. <laughs> right. It's so fun. I, 
I like hearing what people are from. Be like, oh my god, it's this one, it's that one. I know them. It could be upstate Florida, wherever. You just we're a big family, but we're a close knit family, and especially on Jody's page, she has people all over the United States to Canada. Yep. You just never know who you're gonna find. Like a friend of a friend is related to Bianca. Right. Like, Mm -hmm. it is a small world it really is and you know what bianca's four what four hours five hours from me yeah at you least know my cousin's friend something i was like oh who is she goes bianca i'm like shut the front door i know bianca like you yeah. don't know who you're gonna run into and you know what it's just dissenty sisterhood you just don't want to be like oh well come to me don't go to her like nope you know the other thing when i'm um, doing events like every everything that leaves your your hand, whether it's you know at an event or a party, should be labeled. Even if they tell me they have a consultant, it still gets my name on it because if there's a problem or if their consultant quits, I want them to know that I'm here. But I also say to them, uh, the new catalog came out, or if you need refills, your consultant can get this for you. I only label it because, let's face it, guys, not everybody sticks around with Sensi. I want them to know I've been here, you know. 11 plus years, I'm not going anywhere. So if God forbid you find yourself in a situation where you don't have a consultant, you can feel free to contact me. Or if there's a problem with their warmer, you know, and their consultant isn't there, they know how to contact somebody to get help and replace that warmer form. So, but again, you can label your information and still not be a uh, customer contact uh, stealer because again, it, you know, business ethics matter. And they could be giving a gift to somebody and they, they're they not going to know who to reach out to. So going, hey, Jody, where'd you get that warmer you gave me? Oh, my information's right there. And I labeled it inside my boxes and I had a lady reach out to me and she's like, that's the smartest thing you do is label inside your boxes. She's like, because I lost your business card. I will admit that. Mm -hmm. But my name was, she opened up my box and boop, there was my face and my information another there's two other things so uh if you want to open all of your warmers labeling the bottom of your warmers it used to be easier when our warmers were all kind of the same now we they're built kind of differently there there are bases involved some of them are clear but whatever you can still do that the other thing i do um and i'll show you really quick we totally got off topic but hey let's roll with it um hey. business cards i don't just do a regular business card generally i do a magnet because people don't throw magnets away I have your magnet from like three years ago in my refrigerator. <laughs> People don't throw them away. I'm telling you. No. Like, I moved. I'm like, I got to get rid of some of these magnets. And I finally did it. But some of those magnets I had on my refrigerator for 15 years. Yep. And so, you know, I, I think these, I got it like this. And they're super thin. They, they're nothing special, you guys. But that is a magnet. And what I like hearing is, oh, I have your face on my refrigerator. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but it works, right? Because then they have your... They could be like, oh, I need to order Scentsy. And it's right there in front of them every time they go get a piece of ice cream or a little bowl of ice cream. By having a face is also different. I've had people going, oh, I have a Scentsy. Who is it? Oh, my God, it's you. Because she buys from her, her sister-in-law, buys from me. She's never had contact with you specifically. She buys through a host. Yeah. You it was you because of your face. Yep. And she's like, I forgot their name. She's like, she's like, it's you. I'm like... What? Like, it was just the funniest thing ever. It was like a Real Housewives moment. If you guys watch OC Real Housewives, yeah. it was like... What's crime? Oh, it was like the funniest thing. Dennis is almost peed his pants. She goes, it's you guys. She goes, it's a husband and a wife. She's like, look at my label. She goes, boop, there you guys are. It's Put funny. a face on if you can. Always. I mean, you don't see a real estate agent handing out business cards without their face on it. Their face is on buses, benches, business cards, signs. It's everywhere. This is no different, you guys. You can really make a real business um, with direct sales. And in fact, um, most millionaire women are made in direct sales. And it is one of the only professions where we are kind of equally paid as men, if not more. Hmm. So for a lot of us, it starts out as like a, a way to get a discount or it's a, you know, it's this little side hustle just to maybe get us through Christmas or whatever. And then Luckily for some of us, we're like, oh, wait, I just made like $800 and I didn't have to do much. And I got free Sensi. Oh, and I got a discount. Oh, this is great. And then next thing you know, you're making 10 grand a month. So it's all about what you want. So do it. All right. I'm going to 
nope, I'm not going to go to the post office because I think it closes in seven minutes. But I am going to let you guys go because this went a little bit longer than we thought. So <laughs> thanks for watching Pam and I on our spur of the moment Zoom. So <laughs> hopefully some of these tips were helpful. Chat with you guys soon. Pam, I have to hang up in order to stop the recording. Okay.